Welcome to your brand new remote control propane machine. So today we're going to show you how to work this machine so you understand the ins and outs about this machine. First thing is it has a transport wheel. So this transport wheel, when you're transporting it, you want it at a certain height. So since this machine is so heavy, the easiest way to do this, to put your diamond tooling on, is to raise the wheel all the way up because it's a heavy machine and you'll have a hard time trying to lift it when it's flat on the ground all the way back. So you want to do this. Or if you have two guys, then it's going to help you out. So once you lift that up, put your handlebars in this up position like this, and then go ahead and, and make sure this is locked down good. And then tilt it over. Once you tilt it over, you're going to be able to change your tooling. Okay. So once you do that, then you could simply put your diamonds on. We're going to go ahead and put our diamonds on. So that it has the normal resin holders. If you want to put metals on, just go ahead and take off the resin holders. So we're going to go ahead and simply put the diamonds on. These are polishing diamonds. So we'll put those on. Once we have that, we are now going to lower the machine. Now you're going to lower the trans transport wheel. Take the pin, pull the pin out. And then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and attach the propane tank and then connect the fuel line. And then turn on your propane. The next thing you're going to do is lock the wheels. So you're going to turn these dials both sides and they're going to lock in. The easiest way to do it is kind of push up on this side and make sure you give it a little turn with your foot so they lock in. That engages the wheels to the motor drives. The next thing we're going to do is, is sync up the remote control system. So there's a breaker right here. You're going to turn that on. Okay. Then this is very important that you take your remote, make sure your remote is in the neutral position, not in forward or reverse. If it's in forward or reverse, it's not going to sync up. Make sure your e-stop is off and then hit remote on, which is on the side. And there's a green button right here. Hit remote on. You're going to see a screen that's going to come up and it's going to sync. So you're going to see this light. Once that comes on, hit remote on again. Okay. And then you're going to hit start. Once you hit start, we're going to now start the machine. Okay. You're going to now start and engage the throttle for the machine. Forward, reverse. This new design also has a shuffle feature. So your driving speed is here. You're gonna turn that down. So if you're in forward, it can go really slow. And you can also have a shuffle. What this means, it's gonna turn side to side and you're going to get a wider stance of the machine. When you use the shuffle, you want to make sure you're in the forward position and then turn it on. It's going to stop for a second and it'll move side to side. So it covers more ground. And then when you want to stop the remote, you can hit stop right here. And then these micros right here, what that is for the wheel. So let's say the slab is a little off. You can adjust these wheels and then make it, make it adjust so it keeps driving straight. If you ever have a problem, you throw any diamonds or anything, you can hit the emergency stop and push that down. These two other switches are nothing, and this is also nothing. This is for our electric machines. We use the same remote for the electric machines. And then this machine also has a couple features. If you come here and take a look, it has a USB port. 
And it also has a front LED light right here. As you see the LED light, it also has a manual switch if you want to turn it on or off. When charging the battery, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. The wheel drive only charges the, uh, the wheel drive only runs off of the battery that's inside here. So you will need to take off your tank when you're done at the end of the day. Um, this battery will last a couple days when you're charging it. But if you're on the same side, I recommend that you uh, uh, charge it up overnight. And then you're going to come over here and take this Phillips screw, unscrew this. So you're going to unscrew that. And we are going to see your battery in here. There's a switch right here. And you could turn it on and it shows that it's 24 volts. Okay. So you don't need that on when you're charging it. And then where you charge it at is right here. You're going to have your 110 charger here and all you do is simply plug it in you can turn it on and see that it's 24.6 make sure you follow the pin once you plug it in you'll feel of this fan will turn on and then you'll see it it'll start charging up just let that set on overnight and it'll charge up completely and you can run this for two three days on the same battery if you have any questions, please contact us at sellmachinesusa.com or 619-985-0051. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again and have a great day.